Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and I'm here today in the beautiful uh, Beach Shala in Orion Healing Centre in Koh Phangan, Thailand. And today we're going to be focusing on a shoulder opening vinyasa flow and today's flow is going to be around 45 minutes long. So I'd like you just to start in a nice seated position. Relax your shoulders down your back. Sit up nice and tall and tuck your chin in slightly. Lengthen through the crown of the head. And let's take a few deep breaths together just to arrive into the space uh, onto our mats and ready for our practice. Taking a long deep inhale through the nose, fill the lungs, feel the chest rise. Find a small pause at the top of the breath. And as you exhale completely, feel the chest fall, let everything go. Let's do two more together. Inhale fully. Take a small pause, hold the breath. Exhale completely. One more. Inhale fully. Exhale completely. And start to bring your hands all the way up over the top of your head. Interlock your fingers and push the palms up to the sky. On the inhale, lift. And on the exhale, come down a little bit towards the right side. Keep the chest up, the chin up, and push the palms away. I'll take one more inhale here. One more exhale here. In your next inhale, come back up to the centre. Lift up a little bit higher. And as you exhale, come down to the left. Bringing the left shoulder forward, chest up, chin up. One more inhale here. One more exhale here. Coming back to the center and just bring your hands down to their shoulder height. Pushing the hands forward and pushing the shoulder blades back behind you. So you're almost rounding the top of the spine. And slowly bring your hands behind your back. Interlock your fingers. Push your hands away, squeeze those shoulder blades together in the middle of the spine and you can gently sway the hands from left to right, right to left. Releasing your hands and just walking your hands forward as much as you can, letting your head hang down. Just feeling that deeper stretch for the back body, round about the glutes, the hips. And then slowly bring yourself up and make your way into an all fours position. So in your all fours, you'll have your hands underneath your shoulders, spreading your fingers wide and your knees underneath your hips. Knees are hip distance apart. Start with a neutral spine, engage the core, suck the belly in. Now move in tight with the breath. So as you inhale, bring the chest and the chin up to the sky. Drop the belly down as the tailbone comes up. As you exhale, curl the tailbone under, look back towards the navel and push the shoulder blades up to the sky. Inhale to lift and open. Exhale to round it down. Inhale to lift and arch. Exhale to round it down. Bring yourself all the way back into a neutral spine. From there, you're going to lift your right hand up to the sky. Push the fingertips all the way up. And then sweep the right hand underneath until your right ear drops down to the mat. And you're pushing your right fingertips away. Hold it in this position. You can stay with your left hand there or stretch your left hand forward so that you open up the side body a little bit more. We'll take one more inhale. One more exhale. Slowly bringing yourself back up and lifting the right hand up to release. And we're going to do the other side. So same on the other side. Lifting the left hand all the way up first of all. Sweep the left hand underneath. Go down until the left ear is onto the mat. You can keep your right hand here or stretch it forward. Let's take a few breaths here together. And then slowly coming back up. And the left hand comes all the way up. Bring it back down your back into your all fours position. From here, curl the toes under and start to draw the tailbone back and up into your first downward facing dog. So let's take a moment to think about our alignment here. 
pushing your chest back to your thighs, relaxing the head, drawing the heels down to the mat, tailbone is back and up. Try and relax the shoulders away from the ears. And then just start to walk your dog. So bending your legs left and right, right and left, opening up the back body a little bit more. And then you'll look in between your hands and just slowly pad your feet forward until your feet are behind your hands. Soften the knees, relax the body down and grab the opposite elbows just allow yourself to completely sink down. If it feels okay for the face of the spine, you can gently sway from left to right. Softening the knees even more, bring your hands behind your back, interlock your fingers, straighten out the legs, and bring the hands up and over the top of your head. So suck your belly in here, roll some weight forward to the ball of the feet and you can just sway from left to right. Slowly releasing the hands down, soften the knees, tuck the chin in and roll yourself all the way up until you end up in a standing position. Okay, so we're going to start to move a little bit in time with our breath as we come into our sun salutations. So you'll come closer towards the top of your mat. You can have your feet hip distance apart or toes touching, heels slightly apart. Arms down by your side, relax your shoulders. As you inhale, bring your hands all the way up. As you exhale, bring your elbows down, push the elbows back, push the chest forward. So we call this cactus arms, okay? So you look like a bit of a cactus. As you inhale, bring your hands up again. As you exhale, come all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, hands to the floor or the shins, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back into a plank position. Now we're just warming up here, so you're going to drop down to the knees, bring your weight forward a little bit, then lower the chest and the chin down. The bum stays up. Inhale, bring yourself up into a little cobra, elbows in. And exhale, push yourself all the way back, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward to the top of your mat. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to rise, bring yourself all the way up. Take a little backward bend at the top and exhale, hands come back down. We'll do the same again, two more times. Inhale to lift, exhale, cactus arms. Inhale to lift, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back into your plank position. You can drop down to the knees, then the chest and the chin. Keep exhaling. Inhale, lift the chest, elbows in, toes flat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, step forward. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to rise, squeeze the glutes. Push the hips forward, little backward bend, and exhale, hands through the heart. One more time. Inhale to lift and open. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale for halfway. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back to your plank position. You can drop down to the knees or take a full chaturanga, lowering down. Inhale, lift the chest, toes are flat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stepping your right foot forward. Drop down to the left knee, have the left toes flat. So bring yourself up into this low lunge position. Let's just make sure that your right ankle is directly below the right knee. Squeeze the inner thighs together, square off the hips and bring the arms up. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring the hands down, kick the heel, flex the toes. Inhale to lift. 
Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. Exhale, cactus the arms. Push the elbows back, push the chest forward. Bring your hands behind your body again, interlock your fingers. Push the hands away with an inhale. And as you exhale, come down. Place the right shoulder onto the right knee. Focus on the floor and let the hands come over the top of your head. We'll take one more inhale. One more exhale. Slowly release the hands down. Curl the back toes under. Lift the back knee. And your next inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right foot comes down. Downward facing dog. And let's go into our left side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot in between the two hands. Drop down to the right knee, right toes flat. Lift yourself up into your low lunge position. Take a moment, make sure your front heel is directly below the knee. Square off the hips, squeeze the inner thighs. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, bring the hands down, kick the heel, flex the toes. Inhale to lift and lunge. Exhale to lower and straighten. Inhale to lift and lunge. Exhale, lower, flex the foot, body comes down. One more. Inhale to lift and lunge. Exhale, lower and straighten. Bring yourself up into your low lunge. Hands behind your back, interlock your fingers, push the hands away. Take an inhale. As you exhale, come down, left shoulder onto the left knee. Bring the hands over the top of the head, focus on the floor. Use your finger strength and bring the hands up and over, up and over. And then slowly release the hands down. You're going to curl the right toes under, lift the right knee. Your next inhale, left leg comes up to the sky. Exhale, left leg comes down, downward facing dog. Just take a moment here, walk your dog. And then your next inhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to rise. And exhale, hands come all the way down. Let's continue to flow. Inhale, lift your hands all the way up. Exhale, cactus the arms, push the elbows back, chest forward. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back into your plank position. You can do a full chaturanga, you can drop to the knees, the chest and the chin. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ready for warrior two. Inhale, right leg high to the step. Exhale, right foot in between the two hands. Turn the left foot to the left foot's flat and bring yourself up into position. So just take a moment, making sure that your heel is in line with the arch of the back foot, and the back foot, your left foot, is parallel to the back of your yoga mat. You're bending into your front leg, and maybe push a little bit on the outside of the right foot, so that your knee doesn't rotate in, it points exactly forward. The arms are up, shoulder height, palms are down, and you're pushing your fingertips away in opposite directions. Really start to feel the strength and length in the body here. And your next inhale, reverse your warrior. Bring the top hand up, keep bending into the front leg. As you exhale, bring the elbow to the thigh and sweep the top hand over. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, side angle, elbow to thigh, top hand over. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, side angle, and this time we'll hold it in this position. So try not to collapse in the bottom shoulder. Push up, create some space, create some distance between your ear and your shoulder. You can stay in this position, or you can come down and place your hand to the floor. You can stay in this position, or you can take a bind. So you bring your right arm under, left hand around your back, and you're interlocking your hands behind you. Draw the top shoulder blade back, open up the chest, Keep grounding down through the back heel, back leg is straight. Take one more inhale, one more exhale. 
slowly release the hands down, turn and face that front foot. So bringing yourself into a runner's lunge. And your next inhale, lift the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right foot comes down, downward facing dog. We're going to do the other side. So inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, place the left foot down. So I'm going to just turn around so I'm this way so you can still hear it, see me. So it's the left leg that's forward, right leg that's back. Bring yourself up into your warrior two. So make sure your front heel is in line with the arch of your back foot and your back foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Lunging forward until the knee is directly above the ankle and push on the outside of the foot. Relax the shoulders, push the fingertips away, create that length and space. Take an inhale, take an exhale. Let's move in time with the breath. Your next inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, elbow to thigh, top hand over. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, elbow to thigh, top hand over. One more. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle, hold it here. Really try and push up, create that space and distance between the ear and shoulder. Option to stay where you are or bring your hand down to the floor. Keep drawing the top shoulder blade back or you can take a bind. So bringing that left hand under, right hand around and interlock your fingers. Sinking down further, drawing the top shoulder blade back and keep grinding down to the back heel. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, bring your hands down, turn and frame that front foot. Inhale, left leg all the way up to the sky. And exhale, left foot comes down. Just take a moment, walk your dog. And your next inhale, step or jump to the top of your mat. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to rise. Exhale, bring the hands down through your heart center. And just come to a standing position. Let's take a moment to ground ourselves. So you can close your eyes for a second. You can relax your shoulders down your back. Tuck the chin in slightly, lengthen through the crown of the head. Okay, so we're going to work uh, a little bit on um, balance which also opens up our shoulder as well. So it's a really nice um, opening for the shoulder and works on balance. I want you to engage your core as much as you can. So I'll get you started. You're going to bring your um, right elbow into your body. Your palm is facing up towards the sky. Bring all the way onto the left side and start to bend your right leg up. Bring your right foot out to the side. Reach and grab the ankle from the inside if you can. If that's not possible, then grab it from the outside. But if you can, grab it from the inside, keeping the shoulder open. Knees together, and you'll bring your left hand up towards the sky. Okay, fix your gaze one spot in front of you. Suck your belly in and start to drive back with the right heel. Picking the leg away from you and pushing the front fingertips forward. Use your leg strength. Hold on with a nice tight grip. Keep breathing. Keep engaging the core and keep the standing leg nice and solid. Kick back further, kick up more and slowly release down, release the foot and come back to the center. If you need to walk that off for a second, do so. And let's do another side. So you're going to bring your left elbow into your body, palm is facing up to the sky. Bend your left leg up and bring your left foot out to the side. Reach in and grab the ankle from the inside if you can. If not, the outside is fine, but if you can, inside. Knees together, bringing the right hand all the way up to the sky. Fix your gaze one spot in front of you. Suck your belly in and start to drive back with your heel. So you're kicking your heel away from the bum, getting as much distance as you can. Your body will come forward slightly as you push forward through your fingertips and back through the toes behind you. Keep your standing leg solid. Suck the belly in. Kick back further. Kick up more and slowly release all the way down. Come back to the center and walk that off for a second. 
Okay, coming back up to the top of your mat, ready to flow to bring us down to the floor a little bit. So come into the top of the mat, into your mountain pose. As you inhale, bring your hands all the way up. As you exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands down, step back to your plank position. You can drop down to the knees or you can go high to low plank. Inhale, lift the chest, toes flat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's engage the core a little bit first of all. So inhale, lift the right leg high to the sky. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow, to the outside of the elbow. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, bring the knee to the opposite elbow. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Exhale, knee to the nose and then bring the knee down. Okay, so you're in this position here. So it's almost um, like your right knee is down and your right heel is just underneath your right bum cheek. Left leg is straight back behind you. So get yourself into position. You're going to bend your left leg up, reach back with the left hand and grab the left foot. Your right hand can be down underneath your right shoulder. You're going to kick back into your hand. So kicking your heel away from the bum. So you really get that pull back on the shoulder, the chest is forward. Right hand can stay on the floor. You can stretch your right hand forward or you can also bring the right hand back behind you, grabbing hold of the foot with both hands and kicking the heel away from the butt. Let's just take a couple of breaths here. Wherever you are, whatever variation you're taking, we'll take one more inhale, one more exhale. Slowly releasing the leg down. Curl the left toes under, lift the left knee. And your next inhale, lift the right leg high to the sky. And as you exhale, right foot comes down. Downward facing dog, walk your dog. Left side, inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, left leg high to the sky. Exhale, left knee to the nose. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, left knee to the right elbow. Inhale, left leg comes up. Exhale, knee to the nose and then drop the knee down. So you're having your left heel is just underneath your left bum sheet. You're gonna bend your right leg up, reach back with the right hand and grab the foot, kicking back, kicking into your hand, using the leg strength to kick the heel away. The arm should remain straight. Your left hand can stay beside you underneath your shoulder. You can stretch your left hand forward, or you can also reach back and grab your foot with both hands. Kicking the heel away, squeezing the shoulder blades together in the middle of the spine, pushing the chest forward. Whatever variation you're taking, we'll take one more inhale, one more exhale. Slowly releasing the leg down, you'll curl the right toes under, lift the right knee in your next inhale, lift the left leg high to the sky, Exhale, left leg comes down and just walk your dog. From here, we're going to ground yourselves down into a child's pose. So drop down to your knees, have your knees wide, toes touching, draw your bum to your heels, walk your hands forward and rest your forehead down. We're really pushing the fingertips forward, pushing through the mat with your hands and pushing your bum as far back as you can to your heels. Just lengthen the spine, ground yourself, slow the heart rate down and just allow yourself to sink into your child's pose for a moment. there slowly start to bring yourself back up coming up into your all fours position so just make sure that you have your wrists directly below your shoulders knees directly below your hips and your hands are shoulder width apart and your knees are hip distance apart 
So we'll start with the right leg. You're going to bring your right leg back behind you. Flex the foot so the toes point to the ground. Tilt the right hip down and really push the heel away. Suck the belly in and bring your left hand up. So it's opposite hand to the foot. Push the fingertips forward, kick the heel back. You can inhale. And as you exhale, reach back and grab your foot with your hand. So it's the right foot, left hand. So kick the heel away from the bum. Feel that little twist for the spine. Kick it back further. Kick it up more. Slowly push the fingertips on heel away in opposite directions again. And then come back into your all fours, shaking your tail left to right. Let's do our other side. So we'll bring our left leg up behind you. Flex the foot, tilt the left hip down. Engage the core and bring the right hand forward. So really get that length. Pretend that someone's pulling your limbs in opposite directions. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Bending the left leg up. Reaching back with your right hand and grabbing your foot. Once you've got it, kick into your hand. Kick your heel away from the bum. Kick it back. Kick it up. And slowly release that all the way down. Back into your all fours. And just shake the tail from left to right. Bring your knees together and just coming round into a seated position. So all the way around into a seated position. Let's just take a minute to transition from our standing poses. We're now on our poses on our mat. So we're getting closer to our final poses. We're going to start with a uh, seated forward fold. So I'd like you to just bring your legs straight out in front of you. And you want to make sure that your sitting bones are completely flat so you can lift yourself up and pop your sitting bones down so you feel your sitting bones really grounded into the floor. If you have particularly tight hamstrings you can bend the knees but if not have your legs nice and straight. Kick the heels and flex the toes. As you inhale bring your hands all the way up, reach up, stretch up and as you exhale come up and over. Now hold on whatever is available. This might just be your hands on the mat, on the lower legs, or even around the feet. It doesn't really matter. Keep the feet nice and flexed. And think about bringing yourself down that little bit deeper, that little bit further with every exhale breath. So you can focus on your toes. Inhale, it's a slight lengthen, and exhale, come down. Use the arm strength if you're holding on to something. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come down. One more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come down. And then bring yourself back up, shaking that off. You're going to bring your right leg in and your left leg out. So left leg is slightly out to an angle. It's not straight in front of you. It's out to the side slightly. Kick the heel, flex the toes. We'll place the right hand down, walk the right hand away, and bring the left hand over. Keep drawing the left bum cheek down, don't let the left bum cheek come up, and just feel that lovely side stretch. And slowly bring the left hand around, sweeping it forward until you can come up onto your knee and your foot. So try and get into the position uh, where you're wrist is directly below the shoulder. Okay, pushing the fingertips as high up as you can. You can walk your hand forward a little bit until you can bring your back leg up, flexing the foot. So we start to work on the core as much as we can here. Fix your gaze one spot in front of you, keep pushing the fingertips all the way up. Bending into that left leg, reach back with the left hand, grabbing the foot and kick the heel away from the bum. Slowly releasing the foot back down, bringing that foot in and lower your bum down. Both hands come up, turn to face your left leg. Take an inhale and as you exhale, come all the way down, holding on wherever it's available and allowing your body to come down over your straight active left leg. Just take a couple of deep breaths here together. Take a long deep inhale. Full exhale. 
One more long deep inhale. Full exhale. Keep your right leg where it is and bring your left leg up and over. You're in this position. Right leg is under, left leg is over. If this is difficult for you to do and keep both sitting bones grounded, then you can simply straighten out the right leg. So the right leg is forward rather than bent in. So that's an option one, that's option two. You're going to place your left hand behind you to the ground and let your left arm straighten up your spine. Your right hand's going to come up, inhale. And as you exhale, right elbow to the outside of the left knee, pull yourself into a twist while grounding your left bum cheek down, gazing back over your left shoulder. For those that want to take a bind, you can bring your right hand through the middle of the leg, left hand around the spine and interlock your fingers. If you cannot get the interlocking grip, please go back to position one. Think about inhale lengthening and exhale, drawing that shoulder back and gazing further back over your left shoulder. We'll take one more inhale, one more exhale. Slowly bring yourself back towards the centre, unravel the legs and bring the knees down left to right. Let's do another side. So you're bringing your left leg in and your right leg is out towards an angle. Kick the heel, flex the toes, walking your left hand out to the side. As your right hand comes over, keep both sitting bones grounded, push the fingertips over and come into this nice side stretch. Slowly bringing that right hand down and sweep yourself up. Okay, so you're on your hand, your knee and your foot. Pushing the fingertips all the way up, have the hand up to a 12 o'clock position. And I'm going to engage the core a little bit more so you can walk that left hand forward until you can bring your back leg up. Still make sure that your shoulder is directly above that bottom wrist. Flex the foot that is lifted, suck the belly in, push the fingertips up. Option to stay here or you can bend into that right leg, reach back with the right hand, grab the foot, kick the heel away from the bum so you open up the front body. Keep the arms straight, kick it back further. Kick it up more, release the leg, slowly slide the foot out and release the bum. Bring the arms up, turn to face that straight right leg, take an inhale and as you exhale come down. Hold on wherever is available and allow yourself to come down over that straight active leg. Now in this position you are going to feel a bit of a pulling sensation at the base of the spine here um, on your left side as you are opening up your left hip and you're taking a slight twist as well. Let's take one more inhale here, one more exhale. Slowly walking your hands back up, keeping your left leg where it is. As your right leg comes over, make sure both sitting bones are grounded, ready for your twist. Remember, if it's difficult for you to have your right uh, bum cheek down onto the mat, then simply straighten out the bottom leg, which would be your left leg. Bringing your right hand behind you. Let your right arm straight up your spine. Inhale, left hand comes up. Exhale, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Pull yourself into the twist and gaze back over that right shoulder. If you want to take the bind on this side, then bring that left hand through the leg. Right hand comes around the spine and you take a little interlocking grip. If you don't get the interlocking grip, please just take it back to position one. Keep drawing the bum cheek down. Take an inhale and exhale. Pull yourself into the twist even more. Inhale, exhale, twist. And then slowly release your hands, release your legs. And just take a little three of the knees left to right. You're going to bring your legs straight out in front of you. Have the uh, heels close to the top of your mat. Bring your arms up, palms facing each other. We're going to use our core muscles to come down. So tuck the chin in slightly and start to lower yourself down onto your back. Keep your heels grounded as much as you can, taking your time 
coming all the way down. Bring the arms up and over the top of your head. Push your fingertips away, push your toes away. And then release. Let's walk our feet up. I want you to have your feet hip distance, knees hip distance, and walk your heels back towards your bum. Bring your arms down, palms are down. We're coming into our bridge pose. So curl your tailbone under and start to peel your spine all the way up to you balance on the fleshy part of the back of the neck. Shuffle the shoulder blades in towards each other and interlock your fingers below your body. Push your hands away, lifting yourself up. Bring the weight further back onto your shoulders. So you feel a little pinching sensation right about the shoulders and the back of the neck. Try not to let the knees move. Keep the knees hip distance. Feet are flat, toes are flat. Lifting yourself up a little bit further. We'll take one more inhale. One more exhale. Slowly roll yourself down. Release your arms. Release the spine fully. Walk the feet out a little bit wider and draw the knees in towards the center. Just hold it in that position for a moment. Okay, walking your feet back in. This time we're going to move uh, in time with our breath. So feet hip distance, knees hip distance, walk the heels back to the bum. This time, as you inhale, lift your bum, same as before, but this time lift your arms. Bring your hands over the top of your head. Let your hands touch the floor behind you while keeping the bum lifted. And as you exhale, lower the arms, lower the body at the same time. Inhale to lift, reach over, Exhale to lower. One more. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Last one. Inhale to lift. And let's hold it here for a couple of breaths. Keeping your feet flat, pushing through the mat with your heels and bringing the weight further back onto the back of the neck, the top of the shoulders. We'll take one more inhale. And as you exhale, bring the hands down, bring the body down. Walk the feet a bit wider and draw the knees into the centre. Take a moment to push every vertebrae of your spine down, especially the base of the spine. Then from there, hug your knees in towards your body. Just take a moment to way from left to right. Now let's hold on to our left knee only, straighten out the right leg. So straighten out your right leg, right leg nice and active and pull the left knee towards the left shoulder, squeeze it in and up. Ready for a spinal twist, you're going to release your left hand out to the side and draw the left knee across your body to the right side, maybe hook the toe at the back of the leg placing the right hand on top of the left knee and start to push the knee down, all the while keeping your left shoulder grounded. So really push the left shoulder down. And you can maybe gaze up to the sky or more towards the left side. So left shoulder is grounded while trying to push the left knee closer to the ground at the same time. Really taking a twist for the spine. You might feel it over the chest area, the side body, the outer hip and the buttocks area. Take one more inhale, one more exhale. Slowly bring it back towards the center, pulling the knee all the way in towards the body again, releasing the left leg down, swap it over, right leg. So bring the right leg up, interlock the fingers, keep the left leg active. Pull the right knee towards the right shoulder, use a bit of your arm strength, squeeze it in and up. You'll release your right hand out to the side and you'll draw your right knee across the body to the left side. Try and hook the toes at the back of the leg, placing your left hand on top of the right knee, pushing the knee down, all the while keeping that shoulder as grounded as you can and pushing the knee as much as you can towards the ground at the opposite side. 
either focusing up to the sky or more towards the opposite position of where your knee is pointing. So more towards the right side, the knee is down to the left. And just take a few deep breaths into this beautiful spinal twist. Take one more inhale, one more exhale. Slowly bring that knee back to the center, squeezing the knee up and then bring both legs up again. You can interlock your fingers, hold on to your opposite wrists or forearms, whatever feels comfortable for you. Try and draw every um, vertebrae down. We're going to stretch the back of the neck, bring the forehead up towards the knee and then release it back down again. If it feels nice for you to do so, you can rock gently from left to right. You can even do little circles with the knees in one direction and the other direction. And then when you're ready, we're going to make our way into our final Shavasana position. So this is our final resting position as you slowly allow your legs to come straight out in front of you. Your arms are going to be down by the sides of your body. Tuck your chin in slightly, relax the shoulders, closing off the eyes, and then just surrender. Let your feet flop open, let your full body relax. So this is a position where you can stay as long as feels necessary for you. For a class of this length, I would suggest you stay here for the next five minutes, okay? So it's five minutes of steady, deep breathing, of allowing your body to surrender and allowing yourself to fully relax down. So please stay where you are and stay in that position as long as you can. If it's five minutes, great. If it ends up being 10 minutes or 15 minutes, also great. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy, for your practice and I hope to see you on the mat again soon. Namaste.